This is the tire deluxe by KMA Machines out of Berlin and after finishing this video you will probably need it so uh, please watch at your own risk. <laughs> Hi, my name is Gregor and today we have Frank it on bass. And this is the KMA Tyler Deluxe. It's a pedal but not really a fact, it's more of a utility device but a brilliant one. You've seen me holding one of those into the camera in every single uh, video about vintage pedals we've ever done. And that is because uh, this is a brilliant device because it creates an effects loop and allows you to mix it back with your clean sound. And since most vintage pedals don't have trivet controls, this is a brilliant uh, workaround to make sure you have uh, enough low end left. The Tyler Deluxe follows the exact same concept but goes a few steps further but uh, let's start with the basics. Oh, by the way, since KMA is German, he's a little nugget for all the German-speaking followers. Um, Tyler, what, what is Tyler in German? Uh, now you might understand uh, the name of this pedal and uh, when you look at it, now you might also understand the graphics. And yes, the name of this entire thing is based on a stupid dad joke. Now back to the pedal. The Tyler does not have one but two different effects loops. That means you can have two different pedals in these separate loops or also multiple pedals, of course, if you prefer that. And you can combine whatever you want by by brand, by color, by origin, or all of those combined. What makes the Tyler special and much more versatile than other devices of this kind is that these two loops are combined with dedicated low and high pass filters. Loop number one on the left is your low pass area. That means with this knob here you can get rid of uh, high end and for example only compress the lows as we did in the first two examples in this video. On the right we have the counterpart, loop two, high pass and this allows you to dial out as much low end as you wish. So your pedal or pedals in there only have an effect on the highs. But you don't have to use these effects ways like this. You can open these controls all the way up and then the full bandwidth of your signal will be compressed or distorted or chorus-sized. <laughs> If you are experienced with parallel effects loops, you might for the whole time just think, what's with the, the face issues? There must be plenty of those. And yes, of course there are. Some pedals change the face of your signal. The red is famously one of those, but this is nothing to be concerned about unless you want to mix it later with your clean signal again. And if that happens and these phases meet each other, they might just cancel each other out, but since these are effects, this is not gonna happen, but there will be a substantial loss of low end. That is why the Tyler has three different phase switches, one for each loop and one for them as a main phase. And uh, yes, you might actually run into needing those. We for sure did when we recorded all the samples. This was like half the time just figuring out where the phase has to go. <laughs> Now let's have a quick run through the pedal. We have three foot switches, the one in the middle to activate the whole thing and then the two left and right for each loop. Clean controls the amount of dry signal coming through. Level next to it is the master volume, 
High and low pass filter do exactly what they say, deciding how much each frequency band goes through or at what frequency the cut will be. The big mix control in the middle blends these two loops. I spent some time thinking about if it maybe would not be a better solution to have like three little volume faders for each channel and for the clean instead of the mix. But um, the more I think about it, um, the more it grows on me that this is already the most convenient solution for fast results. And you know me, I'm always about this fast results. Am I? Sometimes I think I'm just saying things because I think they sound cool. Bademeister Megawatt Lancelot Binomial Coefficient Then we have two more switches, low pass cut and high pass cut. Those will cut those frequencies when these loops are disengaged but the pedal is on. I haven't really explored this but I'm sure it's somehow useful? <laughs> After all this, I can only repeat my initial statement. You will just need one of those. Maybe not now, but then in two weeks. And I think it's just very important in general to have something like this around. It means that there are simpler versions. You don't have to buy this. I mean, this is a KMA sponsored video. Definitely please buy this. But there are maybe more affordable versions if you just need a loop. But um, this is so sophisticated and so good that I just think if you're recording, if you're playing around with lots of effects, this is something you should have. And especially this is really cool because this will be able to solve problems that once you run into them five minutes before in your life, you would never imagine that you would ever have them. So um, this is a brilliant box. Get one of those. Um, that's all that I can say. That's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you want to see more of those videos, please subscribe to this channel. Like this video if you liked what you, what you, I don't know, if you like things. Bye!